Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my summer foundation routine and I am really excited to be doing this. I'm surprised I haven't done one already. I think I was planning on doing one anyway, but um, I am going to be doing one for the winter probably too because I think that the products change and yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to go all the way up to brows because I do my brows the same every day too, so I'm going to do like foundation, concealer, um, all that, and then I'm going to do my eyebrows too, I think, that, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I guess we should go ahead and get started. So I, in the summer, do not use a primer. Um, I moisturize my skin, it's already moisturized, um, and the moisturizer that I use is the Jergens one, and I use the same moisturizer for summer and winter because I think it is really good for both seasons. Um, well, I guess all four seasons. Uh, and it's the Jergens one that me and Kylie both use. We talk about it in our skincare routine video, I believe. And that's a really, really nice moisturizer. And it's got SPF in it, too, which is really important for the summer, but it's also important for the winter. Um, so the foundation that I use is the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation. And I'm hoping you guys can see this. And then the shade that I use is Ivory 5. Um, the reason I use this shade is because of this summer. I have tanned a little bit more. Um, natural tanning, not spray tanned or anything like that. And um, this seems to be the shade that is fitting me perfectly. So, yeah. And I can't really say if you're a MAC, da da da, da because I don't have any MAC products. So, I guess it's kind of hit and miss. Um, I hope it's not hit and miss because I know finding your right foundation shade is the hardest thing in the world. At least it has been for me because I am so pale, especially in the winter. I'm like snow pale, like as pale as the snow. And it's really, really frustrating because a lot of brands do not go that pale. And I'm not actually like white, um, like like the snow, but um, I'm, I, get, I do get really pale and a lot of brands don't go that pale and it's been really irksome because it has become like a challenge to find the foundation. So usually I just end up wearing mineral foundation in the winter because it's really, because that's the only thing that works for me because it is uh, relatively translucent almost sometimes. I'm getting on a rant now. <sighs> okay, anyway, so Mary Kay liquid foundation, uh, matte wear foundation. I believe this is, I want to say 14, but I'm not sure. I know they have it on the Mary Kay site, and I think it's www.maryk.com if you're interested. So, yeah. And what I do is I just put a little blob on my hand. My foundation brushes changes. Sometimes I use a duo fiber brush like this. Sometimes I use like a, just a regular foundation brush. Today I'm going to be using the Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman foundation brush. And this is an angled foundation brush and I really enjoy it. So I just dab and then just apply it. And, like I said, I don't use a primer in the summer, just because it's an extra step, an extra layer that I don't always find necessary. In the winter I do, but not for the summer. So that's what it, that's what the finished product with the foundation. Now I do use concealer. Um, usually though, where did the foundation go? Usually, um, blemishes are covered up relatively well with the Mary Kay foundation. So I don't tend to use concealer very often, but if I do, I'm usually using the Mary Kay concealer, but I have been really liking the coverage of the Maybelline Dream Mousse concealer. This looks like that. Um, and it is, my shade is Ivory Light 2-3.5. to and it's just in pot form. And I'm actually going to be putting this on um, a couple blemishes that I have. And I just use my finger. So it, you can use a brush if you want, but. Okay. Now 
Now I do use an under eye concealer. For some reason I feel like my under eye circles are slightly more prominent in the summer and I'm not exactly sure why. Um, but, you know, it's whatever. The concealer that I use looks really bad right now. Um, this is the e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter. And it's just a dual ended um, concealer. Uh, and highlighter obviously so this is the highlighter end and this is the concealer end and my shade is light so the highlighter is the same for all of them it's just a white highlighter um, and I think it has a little bit of um, like a shimmer to it let me show you so like maybe you guys can see that I don't know it just has a little bit of a glow to it so what I do is I take the uh, concealer side and I just put it right underneath my eyes. Now you can totally blend this out with your finger. Um, but today, for whatever reason, and I do this a lot actually, um, I'm going to take a brush to do this. The e.l.f. Um, blending eye brushes are really, really nice. They look like this. And um, they're really soft. And I liked them to use for this purpose as well. But I'm going to be using a different brush. And it is the... Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman, Deluxe Crush, Deluxe Crush, let me try this one more time, Deluxe Crease, Deluxe Crease Brush, that took forever, and it's just a, um, a fatter kind of brush, and it's really, really nice, and it's pretty stiff, and it's really awesome for blending in your concealer. I hope you guys couldn't hear that, it was a car alarm. And I take the concealer all the way up to my, um, I don't put it on my waterline, but it, like, goes on the lash line and everything. Just so there's not one spot that looks like it's been left out. Okay. Now that I have that done, um, I move on to blush after that. Um... For the blushes change relatively often, people use different blushes all the time. The blush for the summer that I have been using really frequently lately is the Mary Kay Cream Blush in Sheer Bliss. Sorry, that was my phone. And it's just this really nice, uh, like, peachy, mauve -y pink kind of color, and it's really, really pretty. So... And to apply this, you can use your fingers, but I've actually been using a foundation brush. This is one that I got at Big Lots. Um, it's by the Designer Perfect line, and it's um, it's like a travel kind of brush. It's got it's smaller. And I just take the foundation brush, dip it in it, get some product on. So that's nice. And then the bronzer that I've been using this summer because it's been working out really well for me is the um, bronzer out of the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer. So it just looks like that. And I've heard that this is a dupe for the NARS Laguna. I can't tell you with certainty because I've never tried the NARS Laguna. Um, I do believe that Laguna is matte and this has um, a little bit of shimmer. Now, I may be wrong in that. Laguna may have a little bit of shimmer in it, too, but I know this one definitely has a little bit of shimmer. And I've been taking my e.l.f. Um, stippling brush. It's like a duo fiber brush. Mine's really flat looking right now. Um, so, yeah, it just looks like that. And what I do is I just suck in my cheeks like, like a fish and apply it in the hollows. Okay. And do the same for the other side. Now you don't always need to suck in your cheeks. After a while you become acquainted with where the hollows of your cheeks are. But if you're a beginner and you have never used bronzer or you haven't used bronzer for very long, sucking in your cheek just lets you know where to put the bronzer. Um, so you can put it there and there. 
And then on your temples, so it just looks like that. And this is the bronzer that I absolutely love, um, but I have a very light hand with it because um, it's very pigmented and it a little goes a long way. So face wise, that's it. Now sometimes if I'm going to like an event or something, like where it's inside, I will put a little bit of um, a mineral powder foundation on, but I'm not going to be doing that today. So yeah, but the mineral powder foundation that I would be putting on usually would be the Mary Kay Mineral Powder Foundation in Ivory One. I just got mine from some random Mary Kay lady before I had started selling Mary Kay. So, after that, um, usually I would move on to my brows, which I've been doing the same thing for, for a long time. And e.l.f. is selling, or was selling, I think they still are, but I'm not quite sure, this brow, um, uh, this, like, beginner brow set. And I saw it on the site, um, one day when I was placing an order, and I was just like, wow, that looks really cool. And it was only five dollars. And you got eyebrow stencils, you got, um, a brush, a clear mascara, and, um, a dual kind of, you got a wax and a, um, powder. Yeah. And I think that it only comes in the light shade, I think. I may be wrong on that, so you might have to check. But, um... I tried that, and I really don't use the stencils very often, but, oh, it also came with tweezers, that's what it also came with, but the tweezers aren't very good, in my opinion. Um, so, the brush that it came with is one of the concealer brushes that they have, and it, mine's dirty, so sorry, but, um, it's a black one, which, if you're familiar with e.l.f. and you've had one of their concealer brushes, they're usually white, so that's kind of interesting, and then it's, um, the, the concealer brush is really, really nice for a ton of different purposes, not just for your eyebrows, but also for, like, underneath your eye, for, like, a, um, it's not really a pencil brush, but you can use it as one for underneath your eyes if you're putting shadow there or anything like that. So, yeah. So what I would normally do is I would take the brush and I would take the, I guess this is a wax and an eyeshadow. Now, I do not use the eyeshadow, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but I've hit pan on this and I've had this for maybe maybe two months which I mean shows you that I really enjoy this product um, but I do not use the eyeshadow because it's really light and if I put it on it looks kind of weird so yeah so I take the brush I just dip it in to the uh, wax and I take a mirror I look at my brows how they are naturally and I'm like okay well I know where the sparse areas are and where they aren't so I just take the brush and fill them in. I take the clear mascara that they give you and I think Maybelline has a clear mascara I'm not sure but I think it's like in their pink and green mascara like the Great Lash or whatever um, I think they have a clear one so I just run it through the brows. And this will keep your eyebrows in the same position all day. So if you're going out to somewhere and it's going to be really windy or something along those lines and you don't want your brows to move around, because I know mine do, <laughs> um, a clear mascara is actually really, really nice for that purpose. And I think that's it. Now, because I have this done, I think I'm going to be doing an eye tutorial after this. So stay tuned for that. Well, like, another video. So keep on the lookout for that kind of video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this summer foundation routine. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.